Well, good morning, good morning, friends. It is a good day. The snow is melting, the temperatures are coming up, the rain is out, it's gonna wash off, and we got like three feet of snow out there. But uh, I got this really cool Commodore standard machine in today. It's pretty cheap, 50 bucks. Um, I got a lot of typewriters in uh, recently. I got a couple Olivetti's, some SM3's, SM4's, SM5's. So this is the delivered pile. This is the stuff I got to work through and, and get sorted out. So that's fun, 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 fun. But I was more excited about this machine because it was sold as um, for decoration, not working, doesn't do a thing. And they were, they were right. I mean, this thing is frozen solid. This thing is filthy. And the, the carriage is frozen solid. But luckily I was able to um, pull the carriage off because it has the quick release carriage like most of these big boys do and I started pulling off some of the the paneling and I was able to get into the escapement area and some of the uh, carriage rails and I was able to unfreeze this thing but man it took 20 minutes of, of WD-40 into those rails and I mean you could see how it is nasty in there and it's even worse behind there but it's it's a cool little standard, and these are the, the whole keyboard is frozen. I mean, the H works, so that's good. I can always set my shift mar shift motions. Yeah, but this one's gonna be fun. I'm gonna polish it out and clean it out. I'll work on some of these dots. This is, I think, for the touch control. I don't know why they have a dot system for that. Maybe I can 3D print a dot thing and then paint it or press some. Play-Doh in from behind and make a mold and paint those dots to, to look cool. But yeah, this thing is going to be a fun one. And I am so happy that it was just frozen bearings and frozen escapement because when I got this, it sure looked intimidating. And I got one platen knob off of this side, but this side is frozen and solid. So I sprayed some decrease or a lubricant in there and I'm going to use this plumber's craftsman strap wrench to hopefully grab it, get some more more leverage on it but we'll work on that get, get it going and it's basically a, it's just a giant 1511 guys which is very cool i mean it's this one's going to clean up nicely but it has the same basic system when you pull the carriage off you can look in there but i just wanted to give a quick quick little shout out to the this commodore that we're working on because that's what i'm doing today all right guys talk to you later